verse on the Jester for Jesus website for today is from Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 2. It's the first part of it actually that's on there and it says, Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Now, in the King James Version of the Bible, it goes on a little bit further than that and it says this, Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is sat at the right hand of the throne of God. You know, when we look to Jesus, and he is the author and the finisher of our faith, because great faith that he has shown us and demonstrated, so every, every miracle that Jesus performed was based around faith. Someone would come to him and they'd say to him, then he said, your faith has made you well, and off they would go. Um, but he believed in what his father said to him, that he would die on the cross, or die, and he'd raised from the dead. So yes, he is the author, because he was there at the beginning. If you read Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1, there's a plural in the God-made bit, which means he was there, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And the finisher of our faith, because he showed to us what faith is about. He showed to us by the fact that, yeah, he knew he was going to die and rise again. And when the disciples saw that, they must have gone, well, must have been blown out of the water with what he, he, um, he did there. And so are we today as Christians, because he is the finisher of our faith. It's like the, the, the icing on the cake, as it were. We can look to him and we can plant our faith firmly in him. Because there's nothing better than planting our faith into Jesus. Because he is the author of it and the finisher of what we believe. And I just think this verse, along with a lot of other verses in Hebrews, are absolutely fantastic. If you ever get the chance, give it a bit of a read.